Hey everyone and welcome to week 22 of the OLED burning test. Um, as I said in my previous video, with these ones going forward I'm going to be doing it a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is pull up this uh, service menu and we'll just go through a few of the details before I actually start the burning test itself. It's actually running in the background as you can see from the colours changing just around the edges of the, the screen. But essentially what we've got is 957 hours. So I believe last time we checked that was around, I, mean, I think it was around the 887, something like that. So it's had, had some usage since then. And the count for pixel refresh uh, done automatically is 181 and the manual one is one. So we don't need to go through any other details in this screen. It's literally just for those particular um, purposes. So I'll just exit out of that. And what I'll do is I'll just restart the burning test and we'll go from there. So usage for the past week has been primarily gaming. Um, it's mainly been used by my son and anytime I've used it, it has been for um, sports, so football. And we've also watched uh, one series on Netflix as well, Snowpiercer. So that's probably been like one episode every every, every night um, and then culminating in, I think we watched the last three or four episodes all together. Sorry, let me just put the the remote down. So um, it's had a little, a fair bit of mixed usage over the past, uh, past week, but today in particular, uh, my son over the next few days, so obviously, um, I've, I have been filming these primarily on a Friday or a Saturday previously. Um, slight admission, this is actually Monday. Um, so the date today is Monday the 20th of July. And um, basically I just completely forgot over the weekend. I was just so busy with other things that I didn't get around to actually filming this, this particular video. So with this one, what will probably happen is I'll probably do it either late Friday um, or early Saturday morning for week 20 because this is essentially for, for last week's week, week 22. Um, but at week 22 seems to be a kind of milestone for a lot of um, other people on YouTube that actually post these kind of videos and they use it as some sort of barometer or or yardstick if you like to say that yeah it's past week 22. I'm not sure what the significance with it is but essentially what it, what it does do is obviously it gives me um, it gives me, as you can see from the actual load, the uh, screens in the background, it gives me a good idea in terms of how my, my panel is actually uh, comparing to what a lot of others um, experience. So from what I'm seeing on screen, I can't see any type of burning, any type of image uh, retention, any ghosting, anything like that. Um, with it, and obviously with this being primarily used for content that for the most part has static content. Um, whenever I'm on Netflix in particular, generally I don't use the built-in app, I'll use the Apple TV version, um, which is slightly better because it's um, slightly dimmed and it's, it's basically the, the Netflix logo is, isn't quite as vivid. But um, if you do leave it on that screen, um, you, the, your logo luminance does kick in pretty fast and it will dim that down, um, I have noticed um, whilst I've actually been, been using Netflix. But for the most part, I am quite careful with regards to streaming services. So generally what I'll try and do is if, I'm, if I want to search for a TV series or a movie or something, I'll generally search for that on my phone, add it to my, my list um, or your, your watch list or whatever, whichever app you're using. And then once I actually go on the TV, I'll literally just go onto it and play it straight from there, mainly because I don't want to be sat there wasting time searching for stuff. Um, but also because um, obviously leaving it on those particular windows, um, most of the burning kind of videos that I've seen on the internet uh, for OLED TVs tends to be from content such as either new news broadcasts, um, something like Sky News or Sky Sports, something like that. Um, and then the other most common one is Netflix, where the Netflix logo itself is burnt in. Now, I'm not sure how they actually managed to do that because you'd have to leave it on the, the, the main page of Netflix for quite some time for that to actually burn in. But hey ho, that's, that's obviously what they've experienced. Um, for me personally, obviously, as you can see from these tests, I've, I've not got even the slightest bit of uh, burn in or 
uh, screen degradation at all so for, for me personally it's been thumbs up so far um, I am probably more aware of it as well as my my son who me and my son are the main main users of this TV the only time anybody else uses it is when we are actually in the room and we're watching a movie or TV show or something like that so both of us are, are aware of what we've got here we're aware of the the strong points and also the limitations of it and also we we try and do whilst not being overly um protective um obviously my son sometimes he'll game for like four or five hours in a row so it's not like he's he's changing patterns or anything um for for the content but he he himself has actually gone out of his way to um reduce the head up displays wherever possible so I believe on Fortnite he has actually um, taken some of the, the, the hoods down off as well as on FIFA if, if he occasionally whenever he plays that but generally nowadays he's just busy with the Fortnite tournaments um, so basically that's that's where he's spending most of his time um, doing his gaming so but yeah so far so good um, just looking through the the gray patterns as well no no real issues on there either uh, just looking through the phone screen now I'm not sure if you're gonna see anything I won't know it until um, I've actually put it through processing because I'm in a darkened room the phone's um, brightness will actually dim when I actually start recording so generally on screen unless it's really obvious um, kind of glitch or aberration you won't actually notice it uh, on the phone screen just because I've, I've dimmed the the actual well the auto brightness dims the screen down but um, to the eye um, literally nothing not n nothing in any of the corners not anywhere that you'd expect to see it with either the football with um, generally the, the streams I watch will only have scorecard up there and a logo down here so for the most part they're the kind of areas as well as um, in Fortnite as well I believe a lot of the kind of logos that you get the hoods they tend to be top left so there we go that's it for this particular week